All right, guys. So uh, yesterday had a bit of an incident. There's a hinge at the top of my door. It holds the towel. I was taking the towel off. It's like a rack. It's like a big metal thing. I'll show you. I'll show you a picture of it here in a bit. But the rack fell off and it landed on my fucking toe. And it hurts so much. But uh, today we're gonna go through with our chest workout. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna work out in slides. All right guys, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody, but since we only live really like less than half a mile away from Teos Fit or gym, we're gonna go through. It's 29 degrees outside. They completely blocked off the highway. So we're just taking the back roads. It'll take maybe like five minutes to get over there. But uh, yeah, this is probably the coldest you'll see it here in San Antonio for the most part, unless it snows tomorrow. All right guys, so welcome to the video today. Um, we came into the gym to get our workout in and we're gonna be doing chest and triceps. So this full workout's gonna be placed on the Balance Fitness and Performance app. Um, basically leave in the description at the bottom of the video. But for right now, I'm gonna explain exactly what we're doing today and get a little bit of video and then we'll try our bars later on. So today we're doing chest and triceps. It's technically our Valens Gains Day workout um, of the day, so. We're gonna start off with a Swiss bar bench press. So if you don't have a Swiss bar, a flat basic barbell or dumbbell works just fine. We're gonna do five sets of six, so we're trying to increase that volume a little bit more. Next up after that, we're gonna to move to flat bench press. We're gonna do four by 10. And then we're gonna get into a couple of, uh, or two to three circuits here. So the first one's gonna be a superset between alternating incline dumbbell press, and we'll show some video of that. And then we'll get to a landmine chest press with the barbell. Next up after that, we're gonna to move to a couple of circuits. Circuit one will be cable flies, wall bicep curls and dumbbell skull crushers all being completed for four by 12. And then circuit two will be all choice. So I really like this because you could basically pick any bicep, tricep and ab exercise you really, really enjoy. Um, so we left that up to each one of us that wants to pick and that'll be four by whatever you wanna decide. So um, yeah, so each of these will basically, you'll take You'll do three exercises and then do like about a minute and a half to two minute rest in between each set depending on how you feel. Um, so yeah, this will be our chest and tricep day today. We're gonna try to stay nice and warm. All right guys, so I promised I'd show you what happened to my toe, so follow me. All right, so let's move this door here. So there was a hinge on the top of this door. I took it off, thankfully. But let me see. All right, so uh, 
this is the piece here weighs like about a solid three to five pounds so it landed directly I could imagine like maybe the sharp end is somewhere along the lines on my toe so yeah so this thing wasn't uh, placed on all the way I took the towel off and some of it came off so that's what happened all right guys so we're gonna be going to the tasting part of this episode so today we're trying the hemp bars so this is uh, made by Evo hemp um, and that's Evo E V is in Victor O um, yeah, so Evo Hemp, and this is their hemp bar, so... Hemp protein, plant protein, right? Yeah, so this is, let's see. Is that not really easy? Let's see one. It's really tough to decide if it's, it says from seed to shelf, so I'm assuming it's it's definitely plant-based. Because it's based off of the hemp, it's based from hemp. Right. So it's gotta be plant-based protein, though they don't specifically state that. No. But you're assuming since it is hemp, but... I don't know. Okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Read out the macros on that particular bar. So this is the mocha chip. It's like a little cup of coffee on there. Uh, the macros on this one are, it's 220 calories, 13 grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. So it's a little on the lower end, but then again, it is plant-based, so. What's the total calories? Uh, it's 220? 220. So 220, yeah. so those are pretty much the same. Uh, macronutrients that other bars have, but this wasn't. This isn't considered a high protein bar. Yeah, it's just. A, it's considered their protein bar, quote unquote, amongst their line of bars. So, mm -hmm. obviously today we're just doing their protein bars, mm -hmm. and um, it's got to be. It's got to be plant based, it's gluten free and vegan. Yeah, and gluten free so and vegan. So it's, it's, it's plant based. based. It's plant based. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try the mocha chip first. All right. Let's see. Oh man. <laughs> oh god. All right, <laughs> oh. this is what the bar looks like. Okay, it's just literally looks like a looks like poo, honestly. Like looks like poo. Piece off. Like a little brown thing. Oh, what the fuck! It smells okay. It looks like peanut butter. Yeah. All right, here we go. Pretty thick. Got a couple of crunchies in there as well. Not too bad. It tastes like dirt. You think it tastes like dirt? I was not gonna like the consistency. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just very, it's, it's kind of gritty. It's gritty. It's gritty, I guess that comes from a plant. It like sticks to the top of your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to like break down in your mouth. It's, it's hard for your salivary glands so. But overall, overall taste, I don't think it's too bad. It's not bad, I'm trying to get it out of my teeth, my face, it's mm -hmm. all in my mouth. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't unbearable, it tastes like a peanut butter. It tastes like a peanut butter. Absolutely, I totally agree with you. I don't know where they're saying mocha chips, it tastes like peanut butter. Hmm. All right. Not bad. I'm gonna place that on the ground. Okay. Mm. Up next is their brownie chip. And I believe these are the same calories. 13 grams of fat. Yeah. 18 grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein, 220 total calories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so this will be our brownie chip flavor. So bar number two. Oh. I'll show you already broken. Yeah, uh, let me show the oh, people the at home what this looks like. So, um, not a pretty bar. I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. Not pretty. Oh man. It smells like plants, it smells like dirt. Wow, this one really smells like, that's very earthy smelling like dirt. This tastes just like the other one. I think this tastes more dirt-ish, more earthy. It's got this very crumbly, it, it's almost like um, I don't know how to describe it. There's a candy bar that this reminds me of. You know, they're not bad. They They're just, not bad. But this tastes very similar to the other. I will say this. You know, for being plant-based, hemp-based, whatever you want to call it, they're not too they're not too terrible. No, hard to put down. Not bad. I do think both of these taste pretty similar. It's 
really hard to decipher. I think if I closed my eyes and tried the two, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really be able to tell that. that this is a brownie chip or that was a mocha chip. Yeah. But um, not bad. Okay. Okay, not too bad. All right, this is the one that that I was at. I wanted to try this one. So this is their cookie dough flavor. This is cookie dough. And to uh, read off the macros, the macros, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same. Yeah, 220, 13 grams, 18 and 14 and 12. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. And here we go. We'll try this one. I think it's pretty much. This is the one that I think is going to be the best, in my opinion. They all smell the same. <laughs> they, they all do they pretty all smell smell exactly the same. They all smell pretty. <laughs> This tastes like cookie dough. Mm -hmm. This is definitely more cookie dough-ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this tastes like, it has like a cinnamon to it. Yeah. It's got like a cinnamon swirl kind of thing at the end. They need to do a better job naming these things. If they named this like cinnamon peanut butter, mm -hmm. or like cinnamon bun peanut butter, I would totally, I would, I would believe them. I would it believe them. It's got so much cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Like a snickerdoodle. Yeah. Snickerdoodle would be a good name, yeah. or like peanut butter cookie, right? Yeah, yeah. Peanut butter cookie or cinnamon cookie, cinnamon swirl cookie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they all have the same consistency, bro. Yeah, they're not bad. I mean, I really, they're not bad. I was expecting so much worse. Honestly, same. Yeah, I think I was really was. Amongst the three, which one's your favorite? That last one, the cookie dough. Yeah, I think the cookie dough too. Is the, two, good. the first two tasted so similar that I couldn't tell the difference. It just tasted yeah. like eating peanut butter with crunchies and. They smell bad. They smell bad. Yeah, they don't very smell very good. They smell out of, out of out of five, I would rank it one out of five would smell. It literally smells like dirt. Taste the first two mocha chip and the brownie uh, chip flavor. Out I of, think out of five. Out of five, I'd probably give them like a three. Yeah. Three and a half at the most. Well, no, no, I give it like a two. Yeah. Two and a half. Okay. And then cookie dough, I'd probably give like about a four. Three. About a four, three and a half, four. I mean, it's not amongst, I'm talking about amongst like basic plant based oh, protein bars. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, three, four. I mean, like, in that area. I feel like, you know, it's, it doesn't really taste, I mean, other than the initial grittiness of it. I think it depends on what your goals are for, eat, for eating those, because you can't really That's compare it. those to our other proteins, because they're right. high in protein. Right. They're not plant based. Yeah. It's kind of like a different area but mm -hmm. yet they're still considered protein bars so correct yeah correct um yeah i think another one that we're going to get into uh next will be the no cow bars no cow. we're going to make yeah. sure to get all the bars for those yeah. um here pretty soon but i mean honestly not too bad like i think yeah amongst general plant-based protein bars mm -hmm. you can't really i mean like if you just need something to snack on and you're trying to hit for lower calorie it's great yeah if you're not if you're trying to shoot for a specific protein and hit high protein then I would try to look elsewhere, right. maybe with no cow bars, because they're like 20, 22 grams of protein. Yeah, those are, have a lot of protein. Those have a these, lot of protein. These definitely aren't meal replacement. It's like an, an added to like a snack or something. Yeah. That's not going to hold you over. Also, they're like this big. They're that, yeah. They're very small. They're very small. Um, it isn't a very pretty looking bar. It doesn't smell great, but I mean, the taste isn't really taste too bad. isn't awful. It's doable. It's doable. It's very doable. Yeah. Okay. If you really needed it. If you had to pick one, I would definitely pick the cookie, cookie dough. dough. Yeah, for sure. At the end that's of the day. Fun. Yeah. But, all right, guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. We got plenty more coming for you. Be sure to check out our other videos. They're yeah. going to be in the description box below. Uh, let us know what we should review next. Uh, yeah. We're going to be trying pretty much everything. We also posted small snippets of other videos and other things that we tried. We did some Oikos Pro coffee. Yeah. Um, that were. That were just tough. Well, tough yeah. Well, yeah. You got we'll to watch that. that. Yeah. And then we tried the new Valentine's Day uh, yeah. bank. So catch those two on mini episodes on Instagram, on IGTV, and follow us at the Supplement Reviewers, and as well as our personal pages. Everything will be in the description box below, guys. Thanks a lot. Yep. All right, guys, so we actually ordered the Snickers High Protein Bars to review for the next video. It's supposed to be coming up, but look outside we're getting all kinds of snow here in south texas and that's kind of like ruining a whole bunch of stuff so if they don't come in we're actually gonna be doing the alani energy drinks instead so just kind of stay tuned and we'll keep you updated on uh, what's coming up next